Board games have been a family favourite for decades. One game with an interchangeable arc, written in the Agatha Christie-like tradition, has captivated audiences for decades and in 1985 served as a forerunner for future big screen game ventures. Jonathan Lynn's Clue. We all know the story. A bunch of strangers have been summoned to a mansion in the middle of nowhere on a dark and stormy night, all beholden to a mystery man who knows their secrets. Nothing's explained. We still don't know who killed him. But the point is we've got to find out in the next 39 minutes before the police arrive. My God, we can't have them come here now. But how can we possibly find out which of you did it? What do you mean, which of you did it? Well, I didn't do it. Well, one of us did. We all had the opportunity. We all had a motive. Great. We'll all go to the chair. Maybe it wasn't one of us. Well, who else could it have been? Who else is in the house? Only oh, the, the cook. The cook! Ah! All the characters are perfectly cast. Tim Curry. Christopher Lloyd, Elaine Brennan, Madeline Kahn, Martin Mull, Michael McKean, Leslie Ann Warren, Colleen Camp, Lee Ving, Kelly Nakahara, and there are plenty of great cameos too. Jeffrey Kramer, Jane Whedon, Bill Henderson, Howard Hesselman. The talent doesn't stop in front of the camera. Those behind read like a who's who. John Landis and George Folsey. Their movies are legendary. Animal House, The Blues Brothers, American Werewolf, Trading Places, Thriller, Spies Like Us, all leading up to Clue. Deborah Hill, John Carpenter's producer. She had just produced The Dead Zone for David Cronenberg. John Peters and Peter Goober, the former heads of Warner Brothers. Throughout the 1980s, they produced a slew of great movies from American Werewolf to Batman. Jonathan Lynn, former comedy performer and later director of My Cousin Vinny. Based on the popular Parker Brothers board game, you can hammer up and stuff as much cheese in as you like. In other words, the best ham and cheese sandwich you could ever produce. And it's brilliant. There have been many attempts to make games into movies, regardless of the medium. Dungeons and Dragons is one that made for a legendary 80s animated show, but the movies weren't able to capture the appeal. Until recently, I understand. In my mind, due to the confinement of the movie structure, and there is going to be something that's going to piss off its fan base. In today's world, and many video game movies, there's a need to get as many bums in seats as possible. Movies over television? I would go for television. The Witcher over Warcraft. Movies based on games are commonplace now. The murder mystery is as popular as a multimedia entertainment. Recently, we've had the Knives Out movies and the return of Hercule Poirot. In the 70s and 80s, there were many straight and spoof murder mysteries. Poirot, Sherlock Holmes, The Last of Sheila, Murder by Death, and Miss Marple. <clears throat> in 1985, one of the most popular board games was brought to life. Clue was the start possibly to capitalise on the success of the many murder mysteries that had been released since Murder on the Orient Express in 1974 and onwards. Unfortunately, it didn't do well on its initial release, making slightly less than its $15 million budget. Reviews were a mixed bag, but time has proved fruitful, as it's now a legendary cult movie 
with Tim Curry on scene stealing form. Well, he's certainly dead now. Why would anyone want to kill him twice? It seems so unnecessary. Well, that's what we call overkill. What we call a psychotic. Unless he wasn't dead before. What's the difference? That's what we're trying to find out. We're trying to find out who killed him and where and with what. There's no need to shout. I'm not shouting. All right, I am. I'm shouting. I'm shouting. I'm shouting. I looked at the IMDb reviews from 1 to 10. I didn't see anything eye-catching except that it appeals to many demographics. For some, it's a comfort movie. And for this particular year, Curry became iconic as both butler and devil. No! No! the release of Knives Out, I've had a thirst for other whodunits. The many Poirot movies with Albert Finney, Peter Ustinov, and recently Kenneth Branagh. Miss Marple on TV. Murder by Death, a great spoof. And Clue is part of that history, since the subject matter always seems to entice the big names. And with what seems to be the endless threat of being another victim of the remake machine shows no sign of losing its appeal. Oh, please. I've been shot. I've been shot. Come out. The door is open. Why are you shooting that thing at us? To get you out. You know, you could have killed us. I could have been killed. I can't take any more scares.